to on this little adventure. Are you having me? No, 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 I'm privileged. I think you'll fit me anything else. that wants to do those exploratory drills were first granted their permit um, to explore for oil and gas off um, the Wellington coast in the Pegasus Basin. The sea is our soul in this country, you know. There's, uh, there's something very powerful about the sense that that unspoiled ocean could be threatened by an oil yeah. spill and that's not a risk that we need to be taking in this country and it's not a risk that we want to take. Disappointed to an extreme. I, 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 I cannot understand the decisions that are being made. I'm scared for yeah, for our future and our, yeah, and our kids' future. Um, I don't feel like our leaders are listening to the risks. The prevailing easterly means that the, a vast quantity of this oil, if there is a blowout, will hit that west coast of the North Island from Cape Egmont and Taranaki all the way up to the Kaipara and in fact the Hokianga Harbour. So this is the sort of risk that has been taken and did anyone at, ever point, at any point ask us whether that was a risk that we as a nation wanted to take? In fact, that the scale of that risk was never presented to us. And yet this government has ably demonstrated that they cannot even remove a boat from a rock. <laughs> so how are they going to remove oil seeping out at 1,500 to 3,000 metres? Can anybody tell me? Kia kaha, kia maia, kia mana wanui. Um, open up your heart and just have a listen to what the people of New Zealand are telling you and to what the scientists are telling you about climate change. What we know is there's a $22 billion economic opportunity in clean energy. What we know is there's four times more jobs in clean energy. This is Aotearoa's future, not risking our environment, risking our economy with deep sea drilling. When you look at the numbers, I'm sorry, but the business case just does not stack up for deep sea oil. There are more jobs, there is less risk, there's more local ownership, and if there's more money that stays in New Zealand and less that goes overseas when we do it ourselves and we use our own local expertise and our local renewable energy resources that we have here already. Thank you so much for coming to see us off. It makes a big difference, you know. And I know that when I'm hanging over the side feeling even more green than usual, that it's going to make a big difference to me that we go with the good wishes of so many people. I've been reading the messages on the sales here and they really brought tears to my eyes because you know there are hundreds of thousands of New Zealanders who would like to take a message to Anadarko and they can't. They can't because they've got jobs or they've got kids or whatever else. And I want to do it on behalf of all those people who would like to and can't.